Embrace transformation as you take this image right here to this with some very simple steps using Canva. And then you're gonna learn two bonus tips that's gonna help you elevate that look even more. Okay, let's go to a square post. We're gonna use this one for today's practice and right click set image as background. We're gonna double click this and smart crop it. And now what we're gonna do is add in the spade effect with a shape. Click R on your keyboard and it's going to pop up a shape for you. If you're a little bit lucky, it will pop up with a shape of your preferred color. If you're not, you'll be able to change that and it's really simple to do. But we're gonna take the square and place it down at the bottom of your picture or video or whatever project you're designing. And then we're gonna size it all the way width wise. The next step is also very, very simple. We're gonna click this rectangle and go up here to the color button. Up here are your document colors and you're gonna choose the one that is the square, the square color. And you're gonna click it again. You see solid color and gradient. Click over to gradient and then you're gonna notice that your gradient probably doesn't look great, but that's okay, we're gonna fix it. There are a couple more steps to create this effect. And we're gonna click the second color and you could choose any one of these colors you want, but that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna use this special slider underneath the color slider, which is one that takes it from very transparent to very opaque. And we're gonna slide that all the way down to the left. It's not going to look quite right yet because we need to change the style of it. If you click out, click your color again and make sure that you've got your color and your transparency and then you can move it over to style number two. One side of your shape has a solid color and the other side of your shape has a transparent see-through color. And now all we need to do is rotate this around. The cool thing about this effect is you can actually do this with all sorts of shapes. Let me show you what I mean. We're gonna click C on our keyboard and bring up a circle. And again, I'm gonna choose the color. I'm gonna choose the color again and go to gradient. And then guess what? I'm gonna take this gradient, the second color down to zero. Here's what I didn't show you the first time. You can actually click add a new gradient color and it will give you another transparent layer. So then look, you can create a bunch of those. If you want a second one of these, then all you would need to do, copy your hex code right here and go to the second one and we can paste it right in there. A really fun trick would be to do the same thing on all of them, but have each one of them at a different transparency level. This one could be at 80. This one could be at 60. This one could be at 40. This one could be at 20. And then the last one could be at zero. And look, that's a, that's a pretty neat effect. And then whatever colors behind it will be able to see through a little. Watch this if you want to learn how to make your YouTube community posts even faster within Canva. See you next time. Bye.